I will be hosting a new Hardcore Solo Cell Found League here in Settlers of Calgary. Hardcore Solo Cell Found. Uh, as of now, it's going to be 20 participants. It might go up to 30. And uh, this is going to start right here. August 30th, 1900 Pacific Standard Time, meaning 7 p.m. West Coast U.S. time. Uh, that is the date that's going to come out on Friday. And uh, what are the prizes going to be? The same as last time. It's going to be where you, if you get five items or more, you are entered into the raffle. And if you collect the most prizes or if you tie, you are automatically given the prize. The prize is the same as last time. It's a channel t-shirt. These are normally available for $20 on the channel. Me and Tora, Vald, RPG Gigan, or the two albums I've released related to PoE. If you opt for the t-shirt, it's uh, free shipping. Anywhere in the world, I'll pay the shipping, which means you get a much higher value than $20 because shipping is included. Or you can opt for only $20 direct PayPal payment if you don't want the shirt. Now, unlike last time, which was a hardcore solo cell found Scion only event, this one's open to all classes. Now, let's look a little bit at the past items and let's look at the new 12 items to collect. Now, just to refresh your memory, when it comes to these scavenger hunts, it's hardcore solo cell found 10 days. It's not a race league. It's not the first person to collect all these items. It allows you the full time span to try to collect as many of these as you can within that time period. If you die, that's okay. You keep the stash, you start a new character. If you look here at the items last time, I had a lot of mid-game items. Very few easy to get items. Only really the first two are easy to get in a hardcore solo self found setting. On softcore, these are all easy to get, needless to say. But it's a whole different animal, hardcore solo self found. So what I wanted to do was have more easy items and more extremely difficult items for the best players. That way, it won't be like last time where we actually had um, three people collect all the items and one person only collect five or more who was not one of those three. So let's look at the items. What are the items going to be? I will walk through them. The first will be right here, the div card, a dab of ink. And if you can't remember the name, just remember it's Amber Heard dabbing on top of a corpse while being served chicken. Pretty common div card. That's item number one. Item two is any flask, which has exactly 30% quality. Item three, a pair of uh, Talina's Stinky Souls, a pair of Foxhide Souls, to be precise. It has to be Foxhide. Item four, a Breach Ring, any Breach Ring. So these are all pretty easy so far, easier than last time. Now we get to a little bit more challenging items, and uh, I'm going to phrase this in a very specific way. This item has to be a Sorrow Mask with exactly 50% chance to avoid being shocked. And um, I will let you figure out how to get that. Next item will be an Itziri's Promise, a little bit harder to get. Next item will be a complete Timeless Maraketh Emblem. You do not have to run it, of course. It just has to be a Timeless Maraketh Emblem. Next item, an Amethyst Ring, which grants level 20 Aspect of the Spider. Next item, a stack size of five Time Runes from the League Mechanic, five of them. Next up, any gloves which have life as an affix. This does not include strength. You can have strength, but strength applying to life does not count. It has to have, I should say, flat life, and it has to have at least 1,000 armor and apply a curse on hit. Next item is any helmet with an elevated tier zero warlord mod. And the final item, and the most difficult to get, I wanted to make a really difficult one, a reality fragment. And so here they are. These are the new 12 items that are collected that um, we shall see. If you're interested, go ahead and uh, sign up below. And this will come out again Friday, August 30th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And lastly, remember, you have to have all of these items within your inventory simultaneously for this to count. You can video record it, or of course, um, we're going to be in Global 988. Global 988 will be the channel, and you can also just link it to us. And if I'm on, I will document it and count. So when you get like three, you can just send me the three. And when you get four, send me the four, etc.